Hello students! Welcome to week 1 of your Practical Research 1 course. Lesson 4 is about differences between quantitative and qualitative research. Based on your prior knowledge, compare and contrast quantitative and qualitative research. Two to three keywords will do. Research can be qualitative or quantitative. Quantitative research is a type of educational research in which the researcher decides what to study, asks specific narrow questions, collects quantifiable data from participants, analyzes these numbers using an appropriate statistical tool. While qualitative research is a type of educational research in which the researcher relies on the views of participants, asks broad, general questions, collects data consisting largely of words, text from participants, describes and analyzes these words for themes, and conducts the inquiry in a subjective biased manner. To better understand the difference between the two, here is the comparison according to a specific criteria. The purpose of qualitative research is to understand and interpret social interactions. For example, is the study entitled the impact of social interaction on student learning. The purpose of quantitative research is to test hypotheses, look at cause and effect, and make predictions. For example, is the study cause-effect relationships in analytical surveys an illustration of statistical issues. Group study. Qualitative research studies smaller, and not randomly selected participants, minimum of 10 around 30 respondents. Quantitative research studies large and randomly selected participants, around 100 respondents. Variables Qualitative research study the whole and not the variables. For example, depression among teenagers, political scandals. Quantitative research studies specific variables, for example, crime statistics and obesity. Type of data collected. Qualitative research collects words, images, or objects. Quantitative research collects numbers and statistics. Role of researcher. Qualitative research. Researcher and their biases may be known to participants in the study and participant characteristics may be known to the researcher. Quantitative research. Researcher and their biases are not known to the participants in the study and the participant characteristics are deliberately hidden from the researcher. Double-blind studies. Results. Results in qualitative research are particular or specialized findings that is less generalizable. For example, political scandals, but this does not mean that politicians are scandalous. Results in quantitative research are generalizable findings that can be applied to other populations. For example, the crime statistics data can be used in studies involving crime trends, criminology, homicide, and many more. Scientific method. Qualitative research method is exploratory or bottom-up. The researcher generates a new hypothesis and theory from the data collected. For example, you have data about bullying, abuse, and academic problems. Your hypothesis is that many factors trigger depression among teenagers, including bullying, abuse, and academic problems. Quantitative research method is confirmatory or top-down. The researcher tests the hypothesis and theory with the data. For example, the hypothesis is that poverty reinforces malnutrition by increasing the risk of food insecurity. Then you have the data of 200 malnourished children where 93% of them are poor. View of human behavior. Qualitative research view is dynamic, situational, social, and personal. Quantitative research view is regular and predictable. Most common research objectives. Qualitative research objectives are to explore, discover, and construct. 
while quantitative research objectives are to describe, explain, and predict. The focus of qualitative research, Wide Angle Lens, examines the breadth and depth of phenomena. Focus of quantitative research, Narrow Angle Lens, tests specific hypotheses. Qualitative research nature of observation is multiple realities. It is subjective. Subjectivity refers to how someone's judgment is shaped by personal opinions and feelings instead of outside influences. Quantitative research nature of observation is single reality. It is objective. Objectivity is a quality of being able to make a decision or judgment in a fair way that this is not influenced by personal feelings. Qualitative research final report is a narrative report with contextual description and direct quotations from research participants. For example, I didn't really know that I was suppressed at first I would lay in bed in the mornings at weekends and hopes that I could get back to sleep. The problem was I never could. Quantitative research final report is a statistical report with correlations, comparisons of means, and statistical significance of findings. For example, approximately 20% of teens experience depression before they reach adulthood. I hope that the difference between the two is now clear to you. This time, explain the concepts you have learned by answering the following questions. Number one, what comes to your mind the moment you hear qualitative research? Number two, if you want to conduct a research study about your favorite restaurant in town, what method of qualitative research is appropriate for your study? Explain your choice. Number three, differentiate subjectivity from objectivity. Number four, explain the connection between subjectivity and objectivity. Number five, is the researcher himself the data gathering instrument? Why? Why not? Lastly, find one sample of qualitative and quantitative research online to complete the table. Look for the title of the study, name of the author, the purpose of the study, the data collected, and the findings. Good luck! That's all for lesson 4. Thank you for watching.